हेलो 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 स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू फ्रॉम वेयर वी आर स्ट्रीमिंग देयर वुड बी लैग ऑफ सम फ्यू सेकंड्स कैन आई गेट अ कंफर्मेशन दैट वी आर लाइव नाउ एंड वी आर इट्स ऑल वर्किंग कैन आई जस्ट गेट अ कंफर्मेशन इफ द चैट बॉक्स इज आल्सो वर्किंग yes i think we are uh, all live now yes vora share shrey very good ah uh, thank you so i think is the audio video all clear and uh, i think yes all live now yes vora share shrey very good ah uh, thank you so i think is the audio video all clear yes rajan all of you yes uh, okay so uh, welcome all of you welcome uh to our session uh i am dr uh, puneet bhojani your an academy uh, obijiva educator at an academy and we are here to discuss some of the previous years questions for the upcoming neat pg examination okay so stay right till the very very end we are going to discuss some of the clinical cases very important clinical cases we will discuss will also discuss one liners and highly likely questions because similar questions do get repeated if not a uh, cut copy paste okay i want all of you to stay right till the very end and please answer in the chat box i want all of you to answer in the chat box right wrong does not matter uh Uh, we are all here to learn from our mistakes okay so just a couple of things before we proceed further so this is the offer which is there till 31st january that is till tomorrow republic day 20% off so lots of discount you are going to get and remember the code mentor m e n t o r is going to be the promo code which all of you can use to get the maximum benefits and very very uh, very very uh, what do you call i would say economical packages mm -hmm. are available for all of you uh, in terms of you can go for as per your requirement 12 months 18 months 24 months as per your requirement okay and uh, don't forget to use the code mentor okay moving ahead again this is the final booster need pg we are going to be here starting from 1st of february we are going to discuss previous years questions we are going to discuss the previous years questions we are also going to discuss the most expected questions and we are going to this there's going to also be doctor btr by dr zainab okay so and the code remains the same m e n t o r mentor is the code to enroll so just remember this that one month package only at the rate of 4000 uh, rupees for all of you okay so make sure all of you enroll and uh, be there live when we are uh, uh, having this on the an academy app okay so and all india mock test very very important all of you remember 5th feb 9 am onwards and lots of scholarships and lots of prizes uh, to be won in that okay so just enroll now uh, and uh, other details will get on the website so let us start over this and the final thing combination of an academy and prep ladder also available at a highly discounted price 6 months 12 months 18 months and code for all of them is mentor m e n t o r okay so whichever is the package which you need to choose you can go ahead i want all of you to stay uh, till the end and this is the end of all the announcements so let's begin our question i want all of you to participate and answer okay so the first question all of the following very very famous topic trisomy 21 aneuploidy detection screening test all of the following are used for screening test except so can anybody in the chat box yes good evening shiva hasan mohammed that happy mind manoj kumar she all of you okay sapna sihol singh option b anybody with the answer okay so this is a very very popular topic please understand you need to know each and everything out of the 
this dr joy very good a option raj gautam a lovely dubey a yes please understand point number 1 when we are when we are discussing the when we are discussing the screening test can anybody tell me what is the screening test for second trimester down syndrome what is the screening test the screening test is your triple marker test and quadruple marker test they are the test which are done in the second trimester is this understood when in the second trimester between 16 to 18 weeks of gestation is it understood to all of you so here what is there in the triple marker test anybody can you tell me what all things do we check in the triple so this is a must know topic you cannot go to your entrance exam without knowing this topic yes okay so here we look at hcg alpha fetoprotein and unconjugated estriol ue3 okay it is unconjugated estriol not estradiol very popular mistake please remember students it is estriol e s t r i o l okay so this is your triple marker beta mohammad shahzad karyotyping is a confirmatory test okay mohammad shahzad look at the question the question is about the screening test and also specifically in the second trimester okay and when i add the quad group so this is 3 1 2 3 that's why it is called triple marker test and what is the fourth component inhibin a when i do inhibin a as the fourth that becomes our quadruple marker test so quadruple marker test is going to have all the four things hcg alpha fetoprotein unconjugated estriol and inhibin a is this understood to all of you yes now why is and therefore the answer so hcg alpha fetoprotein inhibin inhibin a all are done in the second trimester can anybody tell me why pap a is the answer because pap a is a part of dual marker test and dual marker test anybody when do we do it when do i do the dual marker test absolutely okay dual marker so two components yes hcg is common hcg and pap a p a p p a pregnancy associated plasma protein a and dual marker test is done in the first trimester okay first trimester 11 to 13 weeks of gestation is this understood yeah 10 to 12 okay mama sir but 11 to 12 11 to 13 so that is basically the answer is because the rest three b c d are done in the second trimester it's a part of your dual and triple marker test very very quickly anybody if the baby is having down syndrome hcg will be higher than normal but pap a will be lower than normal so please keep this it's a very very important mcq don't make a mistake in this okay now anybody again tell me here if there is baby having trisomy 21 inhibin a tell me the arrows for all the four inhibin a higher than normal lower than normal anybody okay it is going to be higher than normal hcg is also going to be higher than normal but alpha fetoprotein and estriol are going to be lower than normal okay yes so this is very very this is again a doubt and then the confirmatory test you need to go with karyotyping okay so it's a very important topic overall in 3 4 minutes 3 5 minutes we discuss everything double triple quadruple all tests we have discussed it's a very popular question it has been asked multiple times in the past previous year question yes again a very popular question which has come just last couple of years back or just last year back we have got what is the answer we have got a primary gravida 31 weeks of pregnancy patient suddenly complains of headache oliguria blurring of vision bp 180 110 albumin plus 4 and also generalized tonic conic convulsion what is the definitive management for this patient yes always in obstetrics look at the weeks of gestation now anybody with the diagnosis what is our diagnosis Kalpana three, Combat Healer three, uh, ex Harsh Kishor Sapna. Okay. Anybody diagnosis in the chat box? I want the di very simple diagnosis. What is the diagnosis, all of you? 
yes excellent lovely rube and all of you yeah uh, somebody yeah mohammed says that pre eclampsia yes but it is severe pre this convulsion so it is the diagnosis for this patient is eclampsia now please understand in this mcq whether this convulsion history is present or not the answer will not change because if the convulsion history is present of course it becomes eclampsia why eclampsia high blood pressure protein urea so is there high blood pressure yes 180 110 protein urea albumin plus 4 convulsion that is simple eclampsia but even if that convulsion history is not given to you this headache blurring of vision oliguria that itself will tell you it is impending eclampsia okay so that happens first and then there's eclampsia okay so if only high blood pressure and headache oliguria blurring of vision you label it as impending eclampsia of course convulsion given in the paper that's the simplest thing any pregnant patient high blood pressure convulsion of course first think of eclampsia only now what is the definitive treatment please understand whether it is eclampsia or impending eclampsia i tell all my students ma aur bacche mein se ma ko bachana hai mother is more important forget if the baby you can say very good otherwise you have to forget about the baby so mother is more important yes or no so even though our pregnancy is 31 weeks we cannot wait further please understand students whenever there is eclampsia or impending eclampsia delivery is the definitive treatment and you should immediately induce the labor delivery all of you will write down delivery is the yes very good combined irrespective of weeks of gestation so delivery is the definitive treatment and it is important to remember it is irrespective of weeks of gestation you will have to plan the delivery but of course whenever there is there all of you know first what will i give i will give magnesium sulfate and of course you will give labetalol to control but after giving magnesium sulfate remember students many students feel that i will be able to wait and watch no that is a wrong concept after giving magnesium sulfate you are committed to do the delivery you can't go towards wait and watch sorry wrong after you go for magnesium sulfate induction of labor induction of labor beta mom said that here uh, we are not giving magnesium sulfate as tocolytic and neuroprotective you are correct those are the other uses of magnesium sulfate very good okay here we are giving uh, magnesium sulfate as a treatment for this eclampsia magnesium sulfate is a drug of choice for eclampsia as well as impending eclampsia it will stop the convulsion prevent further convulsion is understood to all of you after magnesium sulfate we are supposed to induce the labor and go for delivery so now let us look at the option number 1 wrong magnesium sulfate and wait till 34 weeks no why you don't wait in those 3 4 weeks mother will die if she has got 31 weeks eclampsia i cannot wait till 34 weeks patient will die for sure similarly i don't wait till 37 weeks wrong and i don't again wait till 34 weeks again wrong i have to give magnesium sulfate yes for the convulsion labetalol because bp 180 110 and induction of labor immediately all those who said option number 3 very good uh, please uh, okay uh, uh, all those uh, who have marked option number 3 is the perfect answer and remember this that induction of labor has to be done the most important words are what what are the most important words we will do the induction of labor immediately irrespective of weeks of gestation is this clear to all of you irrespective of gestational age or weeks of gestation is you have to do the labor delivery directly many students feel ls no you should not do ls is directly you will try induction of labor first suppose there is a contraindication to induce labor like suppose there is a transverse lie previous to lscs then you may think of doing lscs or after inducing labor suppose there is fetal distress or non progress of labor or induction can fail then yes lscs may be required is it understood to all of you yes can you proceed further yes so now this again a very important question it came in the uh, 
came in the uh, one of the previous exams last year we have got a second gravida the history of having delivering the twins so what will the option very simple question it's a concept based question you should know okay how do we call if it's a previous twins now she is pregnant again so does she become previous time two babies so does she become g3 or previous time two babies so just to become p2 what it is anybody yes all of you perfectly correct simple thing previous twins does not alter the gravida and the parity she is pregnant for the second time so there is gravida 2 and since the baby we assume that both the twins were live she is basically g2 p1 l2 this moment it is okay g2 p1 l2 means what Se second time pregnant first delivery and first both babies are living so this tells you that sir there was twins okay there was twins so g2 p1 is the answer after this patient delivers okay now suppose this is only a single ton pregnancy okay second gravida i'm just telling you to this is suppose a single ton single ton pregnancy after she delivers she will become p2 l3 is this understood to all of you after delivery so sir g2 p1 l2 became p2 l3 so you know that sir in one of the deliveries there are two babies and now if she again becomes pregnant then you call her g3 is this understood to all of you okay so it's just by the way this keeps on going. so this is the answer i hope it is absolutely crystal clear yes a very good hush taco then it will become g3 uh, so here first time was the twins then second time is this and now if again she becomes pregnant then i call it g3 yeah okay so this was a very basic question but all of you should know yes again a very very important heart disease in pregnancy i'm so happy we teach every year trust me students if you listen to my uh, 30 hours of lecture on the unacademy platform 30 to 60 hours is a different range complete uh, pre-record lectures are also available uh, need pg vitals almost every year trust me all mcqs in your fmg need pg are from our lectures all students will agree and vouch for that okay yes now i've got a patient who has undergone a mitral valve replacement and therefore mitral valve replacement she is on warfarin to prevent the blood from getting uh, from preventing clots in the mitral valve okay which of the following is to be done yes excellent now okay we will hold on with the answer we'll hold on with the answer because both we can discuss together with our next question with our next question that if a patient if a patient with a mitral valve replacement presents now at 10 weeks and i'm giving the answer okay don't worry the previous question we're giving you the answer she has now oral anticoagulant she is continuing she shouldn't have continued why because this oral anticoagulant with the warfarin which of the following will be there in the anomaly basically a pharma question that if you are taking warfarin and you can see and you continue it in the first trimester which system gets affected anybody renal cns cartilage cvs neural tube defects yes 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 very good okay so please pay attention we'll give both the answers together the answers of both of them are interconnected so whenever a patient has got a mitral valve replacement done lifelong anticoagulant is required now we have got two options warfarin and heparin forget about pregnancy anybody forget about pregnancy can you tell me which is better which is better warfarin or heparin which is a superior anticoagulant between warfarin and heparin between warfarin and heparin there is no confusion warfarin is a better and a superior anticoagulant excellent all of you why because other reason warfarin is a tablet simple easy heparin is an injection a patient ko bologe sir roj ek goli khana hai injection lena hai patient bolega doctor give me one tablet okay so whenever the patient is np 
आई एम राइटिंग एन पी मतलब नॉन प्रेगनेंट वेन एवर द पेशेंट इज नॉन प्रेगनेंट शी विल बी टेकिंग वॉर फर इन टैबलेट्स एज सून एज आई कम टू नो दैट द पेशेंट हैज कंसीव्ड टिल ट्वेल्व वीक्स ऑफ जस्टेशन she should be on heparin why because warfarin is absolutely contraindicated during pregnancy it's a teratogenic drug warfarin absolutely contraindicated in the first trimester i'm writing t1 in the first trimester why what it is anybody what it is it is called as what does warfarin do pharmacology chalo conradi syndrome okay warfarin embryopathy is called as conradi syndrome where easy to remember it starts with the letter c so c and c central nervous system and cartilage that is the answer all those who give number 2 uh, good and if you missed out the answer also no problem okay is it clear to all of you simple remember conradi starts with letter c yes clap if you feel happy okay and वॉट इज सी के साथ क्या हो रहा है सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड कार्टिलेज सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम मीन्स आई विल सेरीपेलम सेरीपेलर ऑल दैट ओके ओके सो बट इफ द पेशेंट ऑलरेडी कम्स एट डिटेल विल डू द एनोमली स्कैन ओके डिटेल्ड एनोमली स्कैन विल बी सीन टू मेक श्योर दैट ऑल दिस एनोमलीज आर नॉट देयर ओके एंड दैट्स वाई इट्स अ डॉक्टर यू शुड टेल द पेशेंट टू Uh, make sure that as soon as you consider to shift to heparin okay after 12 weeks are over from 13 to 36 weeks because warfarin is better patient can go back to warfarin is it clear to all of you yes okay because remember warfarin is better okay since warfarin is always better anticoagulant compared to heparin so non prenshots can you see it's alternate whw and after 36 weeks tell delivery the patient should again be shifted to heparin what is the reason for this reason for this is sir heparin does not cross the placenta warfarin crosses the placenta and it has got a warfarin has got a very very long half life so during delivery there are two reasons why this shift is done explanation nobody ask you to remember nobody is expected to uh, remember and tell you also but i am telling you the reason sir why shift the shift is for two reasons sir heparin has got a short half life so during delivery it will be quickly off the system and during delivery bleeding will be lesser Okay, warfarin has got a long half life. Bleeding can be more. And besides, if the warfarin, warfarin crosses the placenta, so the baby while delivery, while passing through the mother's birth canal, the baby can have internal bleeding and bruising. Is it understood? Therefore, remember, in and around delivery, the patient should not be on warfarin and should be on heparin. And after delivery, that is with breastfeeding, again. warfarin is better so clap if you feel happy my dear students is exactly don't even mug up w h w h w ulta exactly alternate w h w h w this is understood to all of you therefore uh, breastfeeding ke sath warfarin is okay okay so this is the answer that sir if she has come to us at 36 weeks of gestation you cannot continue warfarin baby can have bleeding this is wrong stop warfarin and start aspirin no only aspirin we don't require and you continue warfarin never answer is you stop warfarin and start heparin low molecular weight or even unfractionated heparin whichever heparin is okay that has to be started is this understood to all of you yes so wh very quickly non pregnant warfarin during pregnancy first trimester why heparin because warfarin will cause conradi syndrome okay contradi syndrome with warfarin what is the contradi syndrome all of you the contradi syndrome is central nervous system and cartilage both these are the previous year's question this question can also be asked to you in a pharmacology okay uh, yes moving on to the next question yes again this was on the previous year's question yes patient has come to us recurrent abortion miscarriage 8 weeks 11 weeks 22 weeks severe preeclampsia in the pregnancy also what do you think is the most uh, probable cause any connection between our abortion and severe preeclampsia yes perfectly correct almost all of you this is the famous apla syndrome anti phospholipid 
antibody syndrome anti phospholipid antibody syndrome and here another characteristic is that the heart activity what does apla do apla or thrombophilia both causes the same problem or same set of complications can anybody tell me what are the five complications we can expect with anti phospholipid antibody syndrome or thrombophilia thrombophilias are your hereditary one which is which is your protein c deficiency factor 5 laden mutation protein c protein s deficiency okay protein c protein s deficiency and also factor 5 laden so this is all very very difficult these questions were not coming 5 10 years back last couple of years back we have seen this okay yes they can cause abortions and miscarriage and here the typical point or the very characteristic point is that fetal cardiac activity is generally present the heartbeat starts and then the heartbeat suddenly disappears so it's like a mist about heartbeat starts and then the heartbeat stops it's like at six weeks you see the scan heartbeat was present and at 7 8 weeks there's bleeding spotting you come the heartbeat has stopped so there's again a pg level don't worry they'll not ask you but if the heartbeat was started and then stopped then that is very typical of thrombophilia and apla syndrome then what yes severe preeclampsia severe iugr what else number 4 abruption abruptions also and last anybody can you tell me the most dangerous what we said iufd so all these five complications severe preeclampsia severe matlab ke by 22 24 weeks only okay so abortions preeclampsia severe iugr abruptions iufd all these are the complications of this anti phospholipid antibody syndrome is it understood to all of you and again over here what is the treatment anybody how do i treat apla syndrome in pregnancy what's the treatment what's the treatment yes anybody the treatment is again heparin yes aspirin is more better than dhananjay have aspirin okay but aspirin se zyada heparin is more important okay so aspirin and heparin both need to be given okay that's very very important yes very very important okay transverse vaginal septum in a girl she is having pain pelvic pain what do you think is because of this what theory okay and they could also present to us with cryptomenorrhea crypto means hidden because of trans it's a complete transverse vaginal septum cryptomenorrhea can also happen yes very good dr ashirama samsung snail all of you correct yes so this is a very very classical thing that if this is the uterus this is the vagina and is a complete transverse vaginal septum then whenever the menses will start all of you because there is outflow obstruction what can happen the blood can of course get collected over here and then there's going to be retrograde menstruation and very good samson's theory okay samson's theory of retrograde menstruation for development of endometriosis okay so this is very common in patients with either imperforate very any any outflow obstruction okay any outflow obstruction the blood can go retrograde so whether it's a transverse septum or whether it is a imperforate hymen or cervical stenosis all these cases samson theory of retrograde menstruation and endometriosis Uh, is one of the known complication so that is the answer but tubo ovarian abscess will cause severe it can cause fever pelvic pain okay dermoid cyst will not likely to occur unless a dermoid cyst undergoes a torsion there's no pain with dermoid cyst okay again thecal lutein cyst you see with our vesicular mole the lady would be pregnant and that kind of a picture okay and you get snow storm appearance on the ultrasonography okay thecal lutein cyst is associated with vesicular mole okay we know Okay, so the answer over here is endometriosis, 
विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके येस मूविंग ऑन येस अगेन अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वेन एवर अ लेडी हैज कंसीव शी वॉज यूजिंग ओसे पेल्स सो शी डज नॉट नो वेन डिट शी गेट हर पीरियड्स एंड देन शी हैज कम टू अस विथ सिक्स वीक्स अमेनोरिया and basically if she does not know this is a question where lmp is not known okay if the lmp is not known or classically what they tell you patient has conceived in lactational amenorrhea okay lactational amenorrhea they had given continuous ocipels and all that so there was amenorrhea and she conceived yes very good excellent all of you doing very well so traditionally traditionally when the cycles are regular when the cycles are regular then yes all of us know whose formula final mbbs history taking negli's formula where we add 9 months and 7 days to the first day first day last menstrual period okay but if the cycles are very very irregular or patient has conceived in lactational amenorrhea or sometimes very genuinely you may see patients so say sorry doctor i don't remember my lmp whether it was first june first july i myself i'm getting confused so in such cases we take help of ultrasonography but my question to all of you which ultrasonography and my seven days from first day last menstrual period okay Which ultrasonography will I take? Ultrasonography could be done in the first trimester also. It could have been done in the second trimester. It could be done in third trimester. Which scan I will take help of? When there is a confusion about the patient's due date, that means when LMP is not known, when LMP is question mark, how do EDD also becomes question mark? Yes, transvaginal very good. Yes, excellent. All of you superb. So all of you. Yes, we take help of the. first trimester yes transvaginal definitely preferred in the first trimester but the answer to this is please remember this first trimester not the second and the third trimester why why because the first trimester scan it is called as the dating scan dating scan is not when you take your girlfriend on a date and do her sonography or your boyfriend or boyfriend sonography we get such answers during viva so what is dating scan so during dating period boyfriend will do girlfriend scan girlfriend will do a boyfriend scan no that is not dating scan dating scan is to date the pregnancy this should always be done first trimester why because it is the most accurate please remember the student that second and third trimester are scans done later on second and third trimester scans are done later in the pregnancy so they are not very accurate not very accurate for dating purpose is it clear because the error is more and therefore they are the most accurate and they are the most useful and all of you know in first trimester we always measure the baby with the help of crown rump length is this understood to all of you yeah but a viability scan is also important dr joy viability is a so beta crl beta uh, hashi uh, hashi rama it's not like now every day the pregnancy will grow so crl at 6 weeks will be different 7 weeks 8 weeks 9 weeks so anything in the first trimester is okay 7 8 9 weeks pay 5 done a scan so viability scan is important for heartbeat and here crown rump length crown rump length which we measure so crown rump length could be 40 45 55 that's a computer will give you the value it is a crown rump length is 40 baby is this much crown rump length is 45 baby is this much okay crown rump length is Uh, 80 baby is how much? Okay, so crown rump length by ultrasonography done in the first trimester is the most accurate to calculate. The abdominal girth is done in the third trimester or second trimester. Yes, CRL is done in the first trimester only. Correct, lovely to be. Correct, absolutely correct. CRL done in the first trimester. I, that's what I told you in the first trimester. Okay. abdominal girth is done in the second or what what is the abdominal girth importance for iugr okay details we discuss in our iugr lectures because the abdomen lags behind so how severe is the iugr or what is the iugr lag i come to know only when we are doing the uh, this okay uh, iugr okay yes 
yes now again a very very uh, important question two questions let us go to first this question all are used in management of ertonic pph except this is a again your uh, knowledge based and pharmac based question that what is this and likely to be coming in the exams okay one two three four all are used in management of ertonic pph except is the question except Yes, why all of you are telling D? Why are you telling D? Mesoprostol is of course used and correctly we use it, yes. No, what is A? What is A? What is this new drug? Carbetocin, what is the new drug? Okay, okay. So all of you, oxytocin is the first drug of choice. Whenever I have got a tonic PPH, oxytocin is the first drug of choice. Is it understood to all of you? And of course, I need to give it IV, but IV diluted drip. Okay, we should always give it diluted in a drip form. Okay, how much we can use 20, 30, 40 units oxytocin? Is it clear to all of you? Yes. Carbetocin is a oxytocin analog only recently available in India. It's a very, very new drug. Yes, very good. And it is stable at room temperature. So please keep this in mind. This MCQ is coming this year for sure. It is RT, I'm writing stable at room temperature. Okay, so basically heat stable. Okay, heat stable because remember oxytocin needs to be kept in refrigerator. Oxytocin requires refrigeration and in India where there is PHC, light is not there, power cut, electricity failure, all that. So that's why carbetocin can also be given. Okay. And mesoprostol is which one? PGE1. PGE1 analog. So definitely and we give it per rectally. Why? In MTP, I get PV. In MTP, when I am doing, I can use the meso, which is PGE1 vaginally. Anybody why vaginally or say sublingual or oral also. But when there is PPH, what is the preferred route? <coughs> PPH, the preferred route is or rectal. Why? Because there's a gush of blood coming out. If you put the tablets in the vagina, the tablets are not going to stay. Okay, yes, sorry. PGE2 is dinoproston that is used for, yes, that is used for our induction of labor. Okay, so PGE1 can be. And per rectally is what is the WHO recommends. This is understood to all of you. All of you made a mistake that PGF2 alpha is used, but it is not IV. That is the answer. PGF2 alpha is not IV. PGF2 alpha is only a intramuscular injection is this understood to all of you so trick mcq all of you fall in the trap okay iv they go clearly ka iv pgf2 alpha so iv pgf2 alpha nahi dete it is im pgf2 alpha is always im mesoprostol per rectally definitely we use it okay is it clear to all of you yes yes that is your carboprost okay yes pgf2 alpha is carboprost but remember dear students only I am only intramuscular never IV never oral all that now coming to a similar question because PPH is overall a very important topic so yes so you have given all the medical management continuously bleeding done medical management failed now what how will you go for the devascularization of the uterus So this is called a stepwise devascularization. That first you like it. See in all of them, uterine artery is the first choice. So yeah, definitely Harishima, we, we will try for this for surely. Uh, yes, and yes, all of you. So once we like it, the uterine artery the bleeding comes under control most of the time if not there's a utero ovarian anastomosis okay the ovarian vessels are coming over here uterine vessels are coming over here so that anastomosis also uh, we can take so the utero uh, ovarian anastomosis so that's a branch of the ovary 
and all of you not external iliac why because if still the bleeding is not getting under control and to make the uh, to make the mcq further difficult anybody internal iliac artery i will ligate anybody suppose there is internal all of you suppose there is internal iliac you would like to ligate the anterior division or the posterior division internal ligate internal ligate artery two divisions anterior and posterior yes all of you perfectly correct your uterine artery uterine artery is a branch of anterior division of internal iliac posterior division yes we need s i l okay superior gluteal iliolumbar lateral sacral okay so that is the posterior division uterine artery is a branch of anterior division of internal iliac and therefore internal iliac ligation has to be done and also the uterine artery and remember the i am writing anterior division if they want to make the mcq further difficult they will also give you anterior posterior division both and choose yes let's go on to the next question yes very very important okay patient has come to us at 6 weeks of amenorrhea 3 cm adenic cell mass beta hcg positive which of the following is a man micro international units per ml yes uh, choudhary raj sir but a uterine artery embolization can be done before or after depending on the facility okay we can do uterine artery embolization prior also because it's a non surgical thing so probably would like to do lab before this okay very simple what is our diagnosis simplest mcq one of the simplest what is there okay so also tell you patient complains of pain in abdomen and irregular bleeding okay patient complains of pain in lower abdomen bleeding spotting pv and just come to us what is our diagnosis lovely dobe lovely happy mind yes so this is the ectopic pregnancy how do i know it's ectopic pregnancy ओके यस समबडी नो वेसिकुलर मोल में क्या होगा बेटा वेसिकुलर मोल में भी एचसीजी पॉजिटिव होगा बट वेसिकुलर मोल में यूट्रस विल नॉट बी एम्प्टी इन वेसिकुलर मोल व्हाट विल आई गेट वी विल गेट दैट स्नो स्टॉम अपीयरेंस यस मल्टीपल फ्लूइड फिल ग्रेप्स लाइक वेसिकल ओके एंड इट शुड नॉट बी पेन यस ब्लीडिंग कैन हैपन सो इन वेसिकुलर मोल ऑल ऑफ यू नो द फेमस स्नो स्टॉम अपीयरेंस दैट दे विल टेल यू इन द एमसीक्यू and in the ultrasonography there is a snow storm appearance that you blindly mark it as vesicular mole is it clear to all of you this is not a vesicular mole here we have got a adenoxial mass yes this 3 cm adenoxial mass adenoxia matlab outside the uterus that is the ectopic pregnancy so when the patient is pregnant comes to us with pain bleeding and ultrasonography what is there classically uterus is empty whenever i do ultrasonography uterus is empty if the uterus is empty and but i am seeing a adenoxial mass outside the uterus is very important then i have to think of ectopic pregnancy yes and also the levels are good 3500 and above no cardiac activity so anybody what is the answer okay expected management you never do expect management watch if the levels of hcg are dropping down on its own like it's like a self resolving thing sir so level was 1000 then it became 500 then it became 300 then you can think of doing expected management expected means what nothing to be done what will happen if i don't do anything ectopical rupture it's a bomb blast okay so ectopic pregnancy this was also one of the many many years back that if i don't treat it is going to rupture for sure and patient can go in shock isn't it yes now all those who are telling me all those who are telling me salpingectomy salpingectomy is the preferred okay salpingectomy is the preferred treatment for ruptured 
एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी रपच्चर्ड एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी इज इट क्लियर बेटा डार्क नाइट जीरो एट बेटा डबलिंग टाइम यू वेट वेन यू आर कन्फ्यूजन ये दर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन ओके यू नो इट्स अ लेफ्ट एड इन एक्सेल मास सो योर डायग्नोसिस बेसिकली इट्स अ अनरपच्चर्ड एक्टॉपिक प्रेगनेंसी इज योर डायग्नोसिस अदरवाइज इन रपच्चर्ड पेशेंट वुल बी इन शॉक ओके सो येस some more information regarding the patient should have been told to you that the patient's pulse is 70 per minute bp is 120 80 i'm adding all that okay but we have taken the question as it was hemoglobin is 11 gram per cent all this extra information i'm giving okay yes so if it is given this is a stable patient i know pulse bp yes very good when will i give yes when it is given it is patient is unstable okay like there is how will i know they'll tell you hemoperitoneum on ultrasonography uterus absent and free fluid okay free fluid or hemoperitoneum i am giving you both the treatment options okay we teaching you entire ectopic in the next 3 4 minutes so you know okay sir uterus empty ultrasonography free fluid hemoperitoneum patient is in shock i have to go for laparotomy immediate laparotomy and salpingectomy is the gold standard surgery please don't feel sad that you are cutting off patients one tube another tube is enough to cause population explosion okay with other tube patient can conceive as many time as she wants so salpingectomy is the gold standard surgery but that is for ruptured ectopic pregnancy is this understood to all of you yes here all the criteria are satisfying for methotrexate why methotrexate is the answer because sir anybody when will i give methotrexate if the if the gestational sac all of you all of you what is the criteria for mtx for giving methotrexate patient should be stable that means it should be a unruptured ectopic pregnancy yes that is our case that's so you are still seeing the mass and it's a ruptured ectopic that mass will not be seen you directly see free a lot of blood second the gestational sac or that sac size should be less than 4 cm very good fetal cardiac tissue and look at our mass our mass is 3 cm okay all of you and also the hcg levels should be less than 5000 less than 5000 that again is our thing hcg is only 3500 is this understood and fetal cardiac activity is also absent so this is a perfect thing that the methotrexate is going to work and therefore methotrexate is the answer is this understood can i get five thumbs up then i can proceed further okay so salpingectomy is done in case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy and shock yes suppose the levels are very high and still it's a stable patient you can do salpingectomy laparoscopically Okay, is it clear? Then you can do lap. If the, if that suppose if they give you like this, okay, the levels are say six thousand, size is four five centimeter, then you can still go for the surgery. Okay, so unruptured ectopic, मतलब stable patient. Okay, stable patient, preferably fetal cardiac rate absent, but these three criteria are known. Just sac size less than four centimeter, it's a less than five thousand. This will go for methotrexate, and you follow up the patient with your HCG levels. Okay, is it clear to all of you? so ruptured ectopic and patient in shock immediately laparotomy and salpingectomy is the gold standard surgery okay yes okay yes so this is one of the question which we had okay again we have a patient who has come to us with infertility it is one of the previous years mcq okay because we are discussing pyq okay not a very well formed question but yes it can come sometimes okay yes so what is it saying is that the patient is having infertility you see big big 7 cm fibroids on both sides which is like a mickey mouse and that is causing tubal blockage ovulation induction and similarly is normal which of the following is the best treatment that means what is it trying to tell you is that if you look at the picture 
if you look at the picture what it is trying to tell you is that this is the scenario we have a uterus we have one side fallopian tube we have another side fallopian tube and we have a like something like a mickey mouse thing okay a seven centimeter fibroid on both the sides okay we have got a seven centimeter fibroids which is blocking this tube and therefore this tube is blocked and this tube is blocked yes so very rare for fibroids first of all to be on both the sides yes fibroids can block the tube but fibroids mainly they distort the cavity so many of the students say that sir both the tubes are blocked let's go for ivf no that is not the thing directly you go for art art is ivf okay that is mainly done when the sperm count is very very low or both the tubes are blocked because of some adhesions here such big big fibroids are there which will not allow the patient to conceive even with IVF the uterus has to become bigger the 7 centimeter if the patient conceives during pregnancy will become 8, 9, 10 complication so it is always better that with the help of laparoscopy I will go and try to get this fibroid out yes and with the help of laparoscopic myomectomy we can we can first remove the fibroid and that itself will cure the problem most of the time because laparoscopic myomectomy the tubal block will be removed and patient can conceive after that is both the uterus this fibroid i will remove this fibroid i will remove and the patient should be able to conceive on her own okay so with a laparoscopic surgery see you can remove this fibroid okay you can remove this fibroid and you can make the tubes and the uterus normal is this understood to all of you and patient can conceive uterine artery embolization surgery uterine embolization is only done when the family is complete okay i don't do when the patient this is only done when the patient refuses surgery and after the family is over here patient is having infertility okay so laparoscopic myomectomy is the best answer but one more important yes now this is a very important concept i want all of you got time we have got a midline septum in the uterus chalo all of you very famous i think again this question will be repeated again this year uh, i don't know days of follow up sir but dr i didn't get your question okay now very important where is the septum septum is where and 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 tell me what all can you detect by laparoscopy and what all we can detect by history okay so please understand this that if this is the uterus if this is the uterus where is the septum so the septum is going to be inside the uterus yes or no anybody which investigation will i use hysteroscopy or laparoscopy to make the diagnosis of septum many students have a mistake okay so laparoscopy is putting in a telescope from above through the umbilicus through the umbilicus if i put in a telescope that is called as laparoscopy laparoscopy will see that everything is normal because the outer surface of the uterus is going to be normal do you agree with me or not laparoscopy is not at all helpful for your uh, your septate uterus laparoscopy is helpful for it's a unicorn or bicorn here i will have to put in a telescope through the cervix through the cervix i will put in a telescope which is called as hysteroscopy and i will see the septum and simultaneously we can cut the septum the, the septum will cause infertility repeat abortion miscarriages so this procedure where we are going in see like how this like see how the surgery is being done can all of you see the surgery being done we are gradually 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 cutting the septum from below from downwards onwards you keep on cutting the septum 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 and make the uterus normal is this understood to all of you so therefore for septate uterus okay for the septate uterus 
which is within the cavity i require a hysteroscopy and septoplasty not laparotomy laparotomy or laparoscopy nahi hysteroscopic septoplasty bol sakte hain ya hysteroscopic septal resection both mean the same thing not laparoscopy ओके बेसिकली इज इट अंडरस्टूड अगर आप देखते हो तीन ऑप्शन लैप्रोस्कोपी लैप्रोटॉमी इज द सेम थिंग आई थिंक ओपन अप द ऑप्शन सो इफ यू सी आल्सो थ्री ऑप्शंस दिस वाज लैप्रोस्कोपी 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 सो ओनली वन ऑप्शन वाज हिस्ट्रोस्कोपी व्हिच इज द आंसर ओवर हियर ओके इज इट अंडरस्टूड टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस इफ इट इज ओके यस फॉर फाइब्रॉइड यू हैव टू गो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द लोकेशन ओके सो सपोज जस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इफ इट इज अ दिस वन ओके दैट्स व्हाई कंफर्म द बेस्ट इफ इट इज अ बाइकॉर्न ओके Yes, if it's a bicornuate uterus, then the laparoscopy can tell you. Okay, then the laparoscopy, and that's why I'd also put a quiz. So all of you, very important. Please download the Anacademy app, and on the Anacademy app, follow my community. Every day we are posting tests and quizzes. I'd put a similar question that all can be diagnosed by laparoscopy except. I'd put a question all can be diagnosed by laparoscopy except. So unicornuate uterus, bicornuate uterus, endometriosis, all that laparoscopy can give the. diagnosis but the septate uterus sir for septate uterus i need to help of hysteroscopy hysteroscopy is required for your septum is it understood to all of you yes okay and therefore this was a similar question that when i have a ultrasonography having any uterine anomaly what is the confirmation confirmation सर्जरी यस बेटा थ्री डी यू एस जी से भी बेटर ओके डार्क नाइट थ्री डी यू एस जी कैन गिव यू डाउट कैन गिव यू अ वेरी गुड थिंग बट यर येस वेन आई डू कम्बाइन बिकॉज एनी वे सर वी आर गिविंग एनेस्थीजिया टू द पेशेंट सो नॉट ओनली डू अ लैप्रोस्कोपी डू अ कंप्लीट हिस्ट्रो लैप्रोस्कोपी एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू इन दिस सर इफ आई पुट अ टेलीस्कोप फ्रॉम अबाव वेल कम टू नवर इट्स अ बाइकॉर्नर यूट्रस और यूनिकॉर्नर यूट्रस एंड इफ इट इज अ septate uterus we will come to know with the help of hysteroscopy okay so all this are very very basic simple important mcqs for the upcoming exams and these are previous years all questions okay we quickly have got time for one more question also all of you 38 weeks patient primary gravida i want diagnosis diagnosis all of you diagnosis on examination anterior fontanelle and supraorbital ridges felt in the second stage of labor what is the next line of management no it is not occipital posterior beta no kartik okay yes what is your diagnosis all of you the diagnosis is prao presentation very rare it's a rare no beta not face okay beta face is from year to year okay harshima face mein kya hoga in the face presentation i will feel the baby's eyes malar nose mouth ment we feel the malar eminences okay we feel the malar eminences and the mentum so when the entire face face could be mento anterior mento posterior depending on the location okay yes this is sam preeti joshi potter this is when brow is free when the baby's head is completely flexed you feel the vertex when the baby is partly flexed you will feel the supra orbital ridges and the anterior fontanelle so if in the question paper it is given it's a supra orbital ridges and anterior fontanelle that is the brow presentation and if it's a person is already in the second stage of labor brow is a transient position brow can get flexed to become vertex or brow can get extended to become face but 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 if it's a persistent brow there is no mechanism of labor why what is the engaging diameter in brow again an mcq anybody the engaging diameter is mento vertical the engaging diameter is mento vertical 14 cm you will have to by heart this number 
okay and therefore i will always have to go for lscs forceps and vacuum are not possible because there is no mechanism of labor so brow presentation least common type of mal presentation least common type no mechanism of labor the mento vertical 14 cm number you will remember and therefore i will always go for lscs you don't do all this rotation business okay rotation kabhi bhi you don't put your hand and rotate and all that and by the way this is still wrong why because you can't rotate to mento posterior mento posterior is a part of face and again in mento posterior vaginal delivery is not possible okay so remember in face whenever i have got a face if this is the pubic symphysis okay then eyes are here nose are here mouth are here what is this and if this is the pubic symphysis this is the sacrum sacral promontory this is the sacrum chalo i have given you two pictures anybody which a and b in which the vaginal delivery is possible i have given you two images a and b in which vaginal delivery is possible so sir this is where is the mentum i am written over here p this is pubic symphysis so sir this is mento anterior here only sir a vaginal delivery is possible this is mento posterior why because mentum is so, so all this mal presentation is a beautiful lecture i request all of you students still there's one month time need pg vitals go and see my entire recordings you will remember me on the day of the exam is my guarantee and you will get all the 25 to 30 mcqs you are going to come in the need pg from my lecture is my guarantee okay so sir this is mento posterior and this again requires lscs okay mento posterior will require lscs okay it is understood to all of you yes so i hope all of so here a vaginal delivery is possible mento posterior always deliver by lscs brow also we deliver by lscs that is the answer okay so i hope all of you had a great time today many many mcqs we have discussed today these are all the previous years question and these are all the upcoming examination mcqs also of course lots of uh, lectures will be conducting in the month of february also and from the 1st of february all of you from the 1st of february i am having a marathon okay marathon where we are going to discuss 10 hours okay rapid revision for your entire obgy so do not forget to take the unacademy subscription with the mentor and see me in the marathon first second and third okay first of february second of february third of february it's almost going to be four four hours on each day where we are going to have a super session entire topics all the difficult mcqs you will be discussing and of course there will be youtube sessions and special classes also don't forget to give your mock test which is on 5th of february the code remains the same mentor i hope all of you had a great time today all thumbs up share this video yes for plus also is but for plus subscribers also is going to be there okay joshi so if you are plus join me on 1st of february okay 1st of february i'm going to have a marathon session which all the plus subscription can take it yes okay yes and other option those who are new please take the package as per your choice because the special offer is ending at 31st january that is tomorrow 11:59 okay bye bye best of luck thank you very much share this video with all your friends and colleagues they'll get lots of benefits and see you soon in the upcoming sessions bye bye best of luck thank you very much